Hey guys, today we're gonna to be giving you an inside look into the first 3D printed home community in the entire world. We are in Georgetown, Texas, just north of Austin at the Wolf Ranch neighborhood. Behind me, you'll see these funky looking houses, very futuristic. This is an amazing technology. As an engineer, I am very passionate about this. I think it's got a lot of sustainable and uh, futuristic outlook on whether we colonize the moon. There's a ton of implications. We're gonna show you the inside so you can see what it looks like. Let's take a look. This here is the NOLA floor plan. It's gonna be a three bed, two bath, just under 2,000 square feet. The builders of these types of homes, there's actually a hundred homes in this little 3D printed community. The builder is Lennar, which is a very big national builder. And this, there's an Austin company called Icon right here. They're the ones that have the 3D printing technology that help make this all possible. Even before we go in, you'll notice like this planter out here, it's literally made of concrete. It's kind of crazy how this all uh, this whole house is just made with these uh, beads and I'll talk to you about how that works. Right when you come in, you'll notice it feels, it feels like different than a house, but it still kind of is like homey. I did a good job of color selection. Like, you know, if they would have picked something that was like super dark gray, maybe feels too moody and like artificial, gives it a nice open feel. Come on in, you'll notice the floor, no surprise, it's made of concrete. The walls are made of concrete. But not everything is made of concrete, right? Like if you look at uh, the trim on the doors, the actual doors themselves, all this is gonna be made of wood. So it's not like the whole house is a 100% concrete, but this is gonna make uh, maybe like 90% of the structure is made of concrete. The only things that are not made of concrete that are structural are gonna be the roofs. I think in the future, they might try to implement something that, uh, you know, 3D prints the roof as well, but for now, they are just traditional roofs. They're metal though. All 100 of them are metal and they all have solar panels. One of the big uh, you know, gains of doing something like this is the energy efficiency. So of course the metal roofs and the solar panels also play into that. If you notice here in the kitchen, this is a quartz countertop, but you see the island itself is actually 3D printed. And you can very easily tell that uh, you know, anything in the house is 3D printed by this ribbed pattern. Guys, the way they build these homes is remarkable. There's like a printer that goes on rails around the entire perimeter. And it's just like, a, it's just like injecting concrete out of a nozzle layer after layer around the entire house. By the time it makes its way back to where it started, it's been about 30 minutes. So it's long enough for the concrete to get hard enough to now have another layer go on top of it. And you keep getting, um, you know, just layer after layer building it all the way up from the ground to the ceiling. Every 10 beads, which is what these layers are called, they have a layer of steel to help reinforce the structure. Here, this is a model unit, by the way. So as you can see, this is where the garage would be. It's currently a sales office. Again, that's only because it's a model unit. Nice open kitchen. You can have a very open concept when you build with these materials because of the structural integrity of the concrete as opposed to something like wood framing. Another big advantage of building with concrete this way is the build time. You can build the entire house, at least the structure of it, in about two weeks as opposed to multiple months or even just a couple months of, you know, having to lay down the framing and then the insulation and the drywall and the moisture barriers and everything else that's involved in a normal stick and frame construction. One other feature, all the edges are curved. It gives it a nice aesthetic warm feel, which is kind of uh, combating the entire industrial nature and feel of concrete. I think it does a wonderful job at that. And it's also a safety feature, right? You know, you don't want hard edges of concrete and your kid running around. But check out these bedrooms, man. These are good in size they have nice high ceilings i also want to point attention to the air vents he went full futuristic on this build i think it looks pretty sick uh, of course the windows are double pane gas uh, in between the layers everything that can be more energy efficient all those things were taken into consideration in fact the utility bill according to the sales reps here from lennar is supposed to be about 20% of what a normal house would have. 
for a bunch of different reasons, like the solar roof, uh, solar on the roof, the actual metal roof itself. Concrete is very, very good with thermal efficiency. So lots of conservation taken into account. Here we are in a bathroom. As you can tell, obviously the tile isn't concrete, but uh, you see it goes all the way up there. Very, very nice build out. Even the toilets look kind of futuristic. Look at that. What is it about the toilet? I think it's a little it's angular. Elon Musk designed toilet. Yeah, Elon Musk definitely had his fingerprints all over this. Um, we're gonna head into this other secondary bedroom. Very similar build. We have the single hung door frame with a picture window up top. Bam, baby. And close that. So we talked about energy efficiency. Concrete is far superior than wood and drywall at is fire spreading prevention. Here with this, if you do have a fire, you know, very, very likely won't spread to the entire house, you know, really quickly. You'll have time to put it out just because this is not flammable. Another really uh, kind of low key benefit that not a lot of people think about is things like pests. You're not gonna have termites that eat through concrete. <laughs> you know, that's not really feasible. This also is a cool plus from this community in particular. These sliding doors are standard and that usually commands a premium at most builders. Coming out here, you'll be able to see the exterior was left in the more natural, you know, natural standard color of concrete. This like a uh, dark gray where the inside was painted more off-white cream alabaster, if you will. We'll head back inside. These doors are cool. <laughs> and in terms of price range, you know, this is in that mid $400,000 range. So it's not the cheapest house on the block, but it's also nowhere near the most expensive. And as this technology progresses and advances, we'll get better at making different, more unique floor plans and having mass production with lower costs in the future. Here is the master bedroom. Once again, every edge is rounded, which is aesthetically pleasing. I think it looks pretty pleasing. Leave in the comments below. Do you think these like curbs make it seem like not clean and not printed enough? Or, you know, you would imagine something like this would be super clean and precise. Do you think this is a good thing? Or do you, would you prefer if it was more rectangular? I think it looks cool curved. Here we have a double vanity, nice big mirror. This is Lennar, so it's not a super high-end builder. So things like, uh, you know, there's no fancy things around the mirrors, there's no fancy finishes. And that's in part to keep the cost low, especially as the technology is literally new. This is the first community in the entire world that has 3D printing. So they're doing their best to keep things affordable. Check out the master shower. Speaking of affordability, one of the main missions that the CEO of Icon, which is the technology company that invented these 3D printed homes here in Austin. One of their main goals is to increase sustainability with energy and as well as like uh, getting us to the moon and building up there, as well as helping the community. They do luxury builds. They do, this is their only community as of right now in late 2024. But some of their first projects were for South by Southwest. They had like a proof of concept build. We'll put a little image there so you can check that out. But their next project, they donated six homes to uh, like a, not donated, but they make like two or 3% margin. So basically donated in the building world, uh, homes for uh, homeless people that can actually experience what it's like to live in a 3D printed house. I thought that was really, really awesome. The CEO was super passionate about this technology. We're gonna show you another floor plan. Follow me. This next one's called the Dune. I think it's a uh, four bedroom, we'll check it out. The exciting part about this technology is that it really reduces uh, the amount of labor that's required to build a home. You know, the cost of building is about 50-50 split between materials and then the other 50 between labor. And builders that try to get the cost down because we're in affordability crisis or they just wanna make cheaper houses, uh, less expensive houses, they usually skimp on the materials and get a bunch of low grade, uh, like bottom shelf type materials, or they skimp out on the labor and then you have a bunch of issues and problems with things not being done correctly. This is a solution 
a 3D printed house, because uh, you're actually walking into the do now, because you don't have to have people here working and hammering away and having a bunch of humans running around the house, moving things, having a ton of waste. You know, there's no waste with this. It just leaves all the concrete, not a single, I'm sure there's a little bit of waste, but when you build a normal stick and frame, there's literally like a truckload, a big truckload full of like every stud needs to be cut and there's end pieces that don't match the correct height. That needs to be tossed because it's not long enough to be used elsewhere. Tile in the bathroom, drywall, there's so much waste. And this is truly a step in the right direction in terms of sustainable building uh, as well as affordable housing because in the end, once we get this technology more advanced, you can build a house in two weeks, maybe a month, and not have any labor cost hardly at all. Check out this floor plan. This one is indeed a little bit larger. Very, very nice. I like the cabinets that go all the way up. That's kind of cool. I don't know how they're gonna reach them though, but shoot, I can barely reach it, but that's really nice. Again, check out the air vents, very futuristic. The island is concrete, but the countertop is not. Check out the master on this one. And like I mentioned in the previous house, this does come standard, this triple pane, uh, three parts sliding glass door. Check out this master bedroom. This one's actually gonna have another door here, like another triple door. So nice access to the little yard you have back here. Another piece of excitement comes from the possibilities of this being able to be the way that we colonize the moon or maybe even Mars, right? If we need to have people building houses, we, it's not really realistic to have astronauts like chipping away and like doing the concrete or the, uh, you know, work on a house. This is fully automated. That's one of the biggest perks of this type of printing is you don't need to have somebody here supervising it. You know, they do like to have supervisors to make sure things go smoothly, but once the technology is more advanced, everything is more tried and true, things go smoothly. There's a world where we can mine this called lunar regolith, which is like the concrete equivalent we can make out of uh, like the dust on the moon. Manufacture that, have robots that grab that, moisten it, and then have 3D printed houses literally go up with nobody there. I think that's really cool and one of the more promising uh, technologies in terms of us getting off the planet and being able to colonize another one. So let's check out the rest of this beautiful, beautiful home. Check this out, they staged it with a rock. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, kind of fits the whole vibe. It's actually plastic, so, but it looks cool. Like I mentioned in the previous home, the open concepts here are easy to do because of the structural integrity of concrete. Let's show you what one of the roofs looks like. Metal roofing is far superior because of its uh, lifespan. Home office in here, check out. Yeah, metal roofs last anywhere from 50 to 100 plus years, where most traditional roofs that are shingles or engineered shingles, composite shingles, there's a bunch of different uh, formats and types, but most of them last like 20, 30 years maybe, where if you look at what these uh, metal roofs look like, these are gonna last literally a lifetime. Also, the solar panels in this community are mandatory, which fits into the whole overarching motif of energy conservation and sustainability. You can either choose to buy them outright, you can choose to uh, lease them, or you can choose to like purchase them, but finance it. There's a lot of different options. I work with Lennar and Icon here at Wolf Ranch in Georgetown, just north of Austin, Texas. If you enjoyed the tour, smash the like button for the YouTube gods, send it to a friend who's gonna geek out of the technology and the possibilities that are in years to come. If you wanna schedule a tour, definitely shoot me a message in the comments below or reach out to me via the contact information description below. Subscribe for more and have a great rest of your day.